Hey, no, no, no. Hey, stay there. Stay there. Dizzy. Dizzy? Okay. How's your head? Your head hurt? Mm-mm. No? No. No headache? Are you sure? Yeah. What happened? Sam was trying to get up and I helped her and she just passed out. Well, she could have simply just fainted. We're not sure yet. But why? Did she hit her head? She's been lying in bed for a couple of days in a prone position. Damage to her ears both affect her equilibrium. She could have simply tried to get up and fell. All right, so it's not an indication of something more serious, right? Well, it could be. I'm fine. Sam, can you hear anything? No? Nothing. Okay. We're going to run some tests. We're going to start with an MRI. Make sure she doesn't get up again, okay? We'll take good care of her, Christine. Let's move. We'll just no, no, no. go. Wait a minute. I'm fine. All right, well, we'll just wait here. She got up too fast. I shouldn't have let her. Christina, it, it's not your fault, and as you can see, the doctor doesn't think there's any harm done. Okay. Well, what if passing out was a symptom, let's you know, not, of something worse, and, and they just didn't see it in the oh, first round of tests? Let's not buy trouble, okay? She seems fine. That's what my friend Allie said right before she died. The bus accident. Everyone was worried about my hypothermia, and then there Allie was, dying, and nobody even knew. Honey, they've done extensive tests on Sam. If something were serious, they would have found that out by now. Passing out seems pretty serious to me. Or with everything going on with her, she could have simply gotten up too fast and fainted. Everyone's different. If something's wrong with her, then it could get bad really fast. I know, after everything that this family has been through, that it would be understandable to expect the worst. But how about we change that and we start expecting the best and you have a little faith? Try. Okay. Because you know who would be the first person to tell you to chill out would be Sam. You're busted. <laughs> hmm? You're the one, you know, going on and on about Sam, but you're just as scared as I am. Right? I'm going to see Dr. Drake to find out how your sister's doing. Are you going to be okay alone? Sure. I will be right back with your sister. It's taking so long. I'm sure they'll be back soon. You don't have to stay calm for me. I know that you're probably scared too. To be totally lost without Sam. You know what, if they're not back in 10 minutes, I'll, I'll go check. I can't wait. I have to see what's happening. We're back. Hi. I'm sorry, Christina. How are the tests? Patrick's going to be in any minute with the results. Everything went well. No more fainting. How do you feel? Sorry. How do you feel? Good. There you go. Oh, thank you. Hey, I uh, got some test results. And? And you fainted. I fainted? You fainted. <laughs> it's good. I'm going to take this one home, and I'm going to bring you guys back some coffee in the morning, some scones. What time do they wake you up at? Six. Six. She'll never make it. I'm gonna be here at seven, okay? <laughs> That's how much I love you. That's love. Ooh. I just wanted to apologize for freaking out. Yeah, I know that you were scared too, and I was going on and on about Allie. And I just wanted to say thanks for being patient and nice. Sam's okay. That's all that matters. Yeah, it is. I'm just glad you guys are together. 